Faraji Wright helped lead Boise State to four bowl victories during his time as a Bronco. The former offensive lineman now has a new name and a new career. Rex Life Raj is a hip hop artist who recently released his debut album. To talk about that and more is Rex Life Raj joining us now from Northern California. Raj, your debut album, Father Figure, is now out there. How much work really goes into making this a reality? Um, it's just been crazy. We've been working on it the past um, six or seven months. Uh, I met a producer in Pacifica, California named M. McKee. He had a real like ambient kind of wavy sound. And I started going over there a lot. And after a while, it's just like, we didn't plan on doing the album, but it's like we were doing so much music and it was coming together that we were like, well, I guess it's time to really you know, do music and go for it. So we just started, we've been building for like six or seven months. How big of a moment is this for you in your post-football career? This is probably like my biggest moment because I put out a couple mixtapes that did really well, got me some buzz, but this is my first like quote unquote studio album, you know, whatever, whatever that really means. But it's got, I have a lot of press behind it. You know, I've built it, like I said, I've built a buzz. Um, so this is like a real big moment for me. I, got a lot, I feel like I got a lot of people looking at me right now, so. When it comes to music, it's a talent either you have it or you don't. I would imagine this is something that has interested you long uh, before the last couple of years. How long have you been interested in becoming a musical artist? Well, I've, I've been around music my whole life. Uh, I grew up in a church with my mom and she sang in the choir. So that's from before I could even remember. I was in church around uh, music. My family sang in quartets and stuff. My dad was always listening to Jimi Hendrix, Bob Marley. You know, I wake up Saturday mornings and he's playing um, Bob Marley and the Wailers, you know what I'm saying? So I've always been around music. Uh, they had a delivery service. Like I grew up, they had, they owned a delivery service. They still own it called Ideas Curry Service. And I would just be in the back of the van and they'll be playing, you know, 102.9. If you're from out here, you know, 102.9 KBLX, 98.1 Kiss, a lot of old school music. So I've always just been around music. So when you sit down to write and you sit down to perform, where do you get your inspiration from? It's, it's weird, you know, a lot of people ask me about that. Like when I do music, for me, I guess, some artists go into it with like, oh, this is what I want to rap or sing about. I have these ideas in my head. For me, it's like all about being in that moment. You know, however the music speaks to me, like I'll get a beat from a producer and whatever that beat says to me in that moment is kind of what comes out. But it's like, it's just my process is just, you know, I'm in the moment with it, whatever I feel, I kind of let loose. When I first met you back in 2012, it was during Las Vegas Bowl Week, and you had the opportunity to visit Opportunity Village. Met a young fan there who was also interested in music. You nicknamed him B-Rap. You sang Christmas carols. You actually freestyled with B-Rap. How cool of an opportunity was that to spend some time with a guy who was also an aspiring artist, just like yourself? That was an insane moment. And I don't even remember how it really transpired, but I do remember the moment when he started rapping and he just went full in. And I was like, yes, bro, please go crazy. Okay, come on. I never gonna make you cry tonight. I'm cleaning out my closet, oh yeah. It was dope because that's like, like you were saying, at that time, I was still doing football. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hadn't really decided 100% that I would be diving into music. So to share that moment with him was just pretty clean. Wow, that's crazy. It was one of the, the pretty cool moments in my career here at the Mountain West Network, no doubt about that. During your time at Boise State as a football player, the Broncos in your time there were 61 and 5, ranked in the top 25 all five years that you were on campus and ranked as high as four. What stands out the most about being a Boise State football player to you? Um, it's just, I, I think it's just the tradition of the program, you know, and like all the hard work and dedication that we put in, you know, like it was crazy. I, I came from a high school where I didn't know too many guys who went D1 in football, but from my experience and what they told me, like how we were doing it seemed to be like completely different. You know what I'm saying? Like shout out to Coach Pete and Coach Strauss and other great coaches probably. And when I talk about Coach Pete, like he's such a good head coach, but to me, he's more of a life coach. You know what I'm saying? He was more of a mentor more than anything. So it's just like the tradition and deliberate practice and hard work. Uh, going to Boise State and the college experience, no matter where you're at, will always shape you as a human being and really what you want to do in the future. How did attending Boise State and the whole experience there in Boise shape you now as an artist? 
I think it just like it instilled such a um, commitment to working hard and hard work. Cause like I'll be around guys and other artists and even my friends and stuff. And they'll be like, bro, you be in the studio so much. Are you always working on something? Are you always doing some events? Are you always working on your website? Are you always doing something? It's just like, it's like unconsciously now it's in me to just like go so hard. And that's just what you, what you learn at Boise. You know, you can't take a day off, you can't take a day off, you can't take a play off. Everything is about working hard. You're not taking a day off. Now that that debut album has been released, what's the next step for you as an artist? I don't know. It's just like, with me, I really don't have any expectations. You know, I could wish to have wishful thinking and hopes so of what I want to happen, but it's like I've been just taking it as it comes and rolling with the punches and things have been going good with me. I hope, you know, this gets a lot of widespread notoriety. You know, I've already met so many people before, and the albums, you know, like, it's, I hadn't even put out a lot of tracks and I've just been meeting a lot of people. So I'm just excited to see where it takes me. Like I said, it's just like, I release bodies of music or songs and it's crazy to me how they travel and they open up doors and they lead me to meet people and I have no idea, you know what I'm saying? So I could just hope to put this out and it just carries me and floats me around. Well, let's tell everybody where they can find your music. Go ahead. Um, you can find it on all digital uh, outlets, um, Apple Music, what is it, Am uh, Google Play, Spotify, Pandora, all that. If you just um, Google search Rex, Rex Life Raj, R-E-X-X-L-I-F-E-R-A-J, everything should pop up. Well, Raj, good luck in your music career. I know one day here soon we're going to see you opening up for a big act. And when you do, I want backstage passes. You got it, man. All and right. bring B-Rap, too. We got to bring B-Rap. We'll bring B-Rap as well. No doubt about it. That's Rex Life Raj, former Boise State offensive lineman, now turned hip-hop artist. From the Mountain West Network Studio, I'm Jesse Kurtz.